so excited because after I train my clients, I'm going to see the new Tupac movie with my mom, All Eyes on Me. Most of the um, the times for the movie were sold out, and I got lucky. I went today at like 4 o'clock to check to see if the 10 o'clock movie for today was sold out, and it wasn't, so... Where's that uh, ticket? Mm. Let's see. Cheers. Take it forward. All eyes on me. Tupac's one of my favorite, not only my favorite rapper of all time, but one of my favorite people because he's such an inspiration in all of the work he does outside of just, well, all the work he did outside of his career as a rapper. He's very passionate about the community and helping the youth and helping the oppressed. So I want to be one of the extensions of his, his mission. That's what drives me to this day. That's a part of what drives me. I want to continue his, his drive and his passion because I share a lot of similarities with him. Oh, man. Also made a new shirt. I'm always experimenting with different samples to see what works and what looks good. Stink Big with FDF. It's a workout shirt. It's black. It's a uh, dry fit material. I got the shirt on sale at Target for $10 and it cost me... 7 to 15 I can't remember what the guy charged me to get the actual letters on but I'll wear this around and I'll just let it see if it grows organically I'm not going to try to guesstimate and say like alright this is the one that's going to work I'll just wear it normally and if people like it and ask about buying it or where they can buy it then I'll make it available on demand oh, today at practice one of well, the assistant coach, Coach Ryan, he <laughs> let me know that the players, they, they found my Instagram. It wasn't like I was hiding the Instagram, but I guess they were on Instagram searching my name or just came across either my name or Family Dreams Fitness uh, Instagram account, and they found it, but they, that's cool. There's nothing on there that they shouldn't see. Everything on there is like, motivation or inspiring, or if not that, it just shows my life so they get to learn a little bit more about me. And then if they keep digging deeper, then they may be able to find out about the YouTube videos, which when dreams become reality, and if they see these episodes, then they'll get some insight on my life outside of training them. So that will be pretty cool. But it was funny. I knew it was only a matter of time before they did look into who I was and my social media. But it's funny to find out how it, like, it just happened. So... It's pretty cool. But I've been so busy lately that I haven't had time for myself or for my significant other or just family, my mom, anybody. I've just been working, family dream fitness, basketball team, and ex I've been exercising a lot, even more than when I'm not as busy. And I've been going even harder because that's the first excuse that people fall back on. It's super easy to use that excuse of, oh, I'm too busy to work out. So now that I'm getting busier, I make it even more of an effort to work out even harder and push myself even more. For one, to stay active. Two, to challenge myself mentally to say, hey, nothing's going to stop me from staying active. Nothing's going to stop me from getting the goals I want. And once I push that and push my mental endurance even more, it just lets me, it just makes me uh, more strong and durable through me being busy. So then it just makes me a better person. I could complain about being busy, but this is what I wanted, this is what I asked for, and it's happening, so I just have to rise to the occasion. So it's like, okay, I'm getting busy, all right, adjust to it. Stay, stay active, stay working, be more prepared, go even harder, and just allow more blessings to come in.